Hey, what is up, guys? This is here, and I'm back on Injustice iOS. Not even on Injustice, but I'm gonna be teaching you guys a tutorial on how to get iGame Garden for iOS 11. So, a jailbreak did come out called Electra. Um, it's it's been out for like a, a, a good, you know, three weeks or so, and I've been using it. It's great. I have an A plus. I use it on that. But I have my 6 S plus here today, and I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to get iGame Garden. Now, iGame Garden has been updated for iOS 11. It got updated like uh, three days ago, I think. So I am a bit late. Um, let's jump right in, guys. So as you guys can see, iGame Garden is right there. So you guys go in there. And there you go. Now, I think it was optimized for the Plus model, so that's great. So, uh, just to prove to you guys that I am running on iOS 11, I'll do that right now. About, and then uh, right there, iOS 11.1.1. So, you guys don't can't even trip. So, on how to get this, you guys have to first open up Cydia. Make sure on the latest release of Electra, uh, I think it's 1.03. So, make sure you're on that. So, you guys want to go to Sources, and you guys want to click on Edit, Add. And you guys want to enter the source that I leave down in the description. So after you add that, the repo should be in your uh, repo list right there. It should be titled IGG. Now make sure you click refresh and then go on to the IGG. Click on utils. And then right there, Icon Garden is there. So before you click install, before you click install, do not click install. Um, Icon Garden is a paid application now. So I know that's a heavy, hefty, a hefty hefty I'm, I'm so sorry but this is a paid application you guys can go ahead and install it it's not gonna work so you guys you guys need to go to a website and buy a license for your specific device now obviously guys it's only gonna work on one device and you guys cannot transfer a license and right now the only way to pay for it is PayPal so if you guys are not interested in paying for this at all then just you know stop watching the video I don't think there's any way to get it you know for free because the developer himself stopped you know any you know pirates or anything like that to just stop working and it now requires you guys to you know install it from this repo specifically and buy a license so guys i personally bought a license and i love it i've been using it for a day and it's honestly great so for those of you who are interested in buying this there are a lot of things that you need to know so follow me and i'll teach you guys all that ass. so so guys in the link down below in the description you guys want to go to this link now this is you know how you get your registration for your you know i device so right here it is three dollars per device that means you cannot install it on another device you guys can only install it on here and side note read through everything so i'm gonna point out the main main things that are you know gonna be really annoying to you not every single game is gonna work not every single game is gonna work so don't expect every single game to work also you cannot you know don't reinstall it because it states um somewhere here that if you reinstall it it's not gonna work you guys have to like email the developer again but it's not gonna like fully you know waste your three dollars you guys can still contact the developer so right here you guys want to click on buy now now I recommend doing this on your computer since it's more easier but it's really easy guys you want to guys you guys want to click on buy now i'm not gonna click on buy now but you guys want to click on buy now and i personally use my paypal balance to pay for this um application is three bucks it's not that much so i paid you know via um paypal so after that i get my transaction id from paypal i enter that in so let's say my transaction id was blah blah, 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 blah bop hacks so obviously it's not going to be that but um that your transaction id is going to be like a bunch of letters and numbers enter that in now your wi-fi mac address now this is where you know stuff's gonna complicated. So guys, go to the settings of your iPhone that you want to add iGame Guardian to. Keep in mind that whatever MAC address you enter, it will register for that specific device, not anything else. So my 6s Plus I already have iGame Guardian on it. So, uh, right right here, uh, scroll down. You guys can see Wi-Fi address. Now obviously I blocked it out because I don't know if that that's gonna like ruin my device or something like that if I expose it to the public. But I'm not gonna expose my address to the public. I don't know what's gonna happen. And then right below it is Bluetooth. Now you guys need those two things specifically. So, uh, it takes a while to you know jot down the whole things, but you guys need to enter everything exactly. So 98 colon 9e colon. Wait no, I'm. I'm saying my own freaking address, my bad. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. So enter your address, your Wi-Fi address, and then right below your you know Wi-Fi MAC address is the Bluetooth MAC address in the settings. Uh, it's relatively the same thing, just with a few minor um changes. And then from there, you guys want to enter your email where you guys will you know receive um I think the receipt for your transaction. So um your business email doesn't really matter, whatever you want. Then after that, 
then after that you guys want to click on register and then it'll give you like some warnings and how to proceed in installing it but uh obviously when i click in register it's not gonna literally like invalid email so um from there you guys want to respring your device and then from there you want to go into Cydia. and now you want to uh, basically refresh all your sources all of that and then make sure, make sure you guys still have the repo in your repositories and then go in it go to utils uh what the heck oh lord oh no uh go to utils go to iGame Guardian, and then from there you guys can reinstall it now i'm not going to reinstall it because that it's going to take my license away so i'm not going to do that but you guys should get the you know option to install it so guys guys do that and right from there it'll work it'll it'll just work it took me like there was no delay at all at all i bought it i went ahead and installed it took like um, like five seconds. Um, uh, I I didn't I didn't even respring my device. I just opened it up. It took a minute of loading. It took like I don't know, like ten seconds, and then it just came up. So look at this, that guys. Who this is hype. So finally, we have I can run on iOS eleven point zero to eleven point one point two. So I'm gonna be releasing a lot of tutorials on how to hack injustice and all of that. So guys, be prepared. So that's it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Now, please, guys, please, please, please. If you guys really love Eigengard and you guys use it, then, you know, go ahead and pay for the developer. I'm not being, you know, paid to make this video at all, but I personally have used Eigengard for, like, a while now, ever since, like, 2016. I really got into it. So, I was, like, there, there was no problem for me paying three bucks. It was really no problem. So, um, you know, I swear to the developer who made this app, this beautiful app that, you know, allowed me to hack injustice. So, I'm really grateful for him. And obviously, guys, not everything is free. So, please don't go hating on me or the developer and be like, oh, you're so cheap and all that. Like, guys, don't. So, it's obviously your choice. I'm not forcing you guys to do this. It's obviously your choice. I would recommend you guys do it, but it's uh, I don't want to get involved in that. But uh, it works fine. You guys want to click on you know actually wait I don't want to click on my recording application. Uh, mobile mail select. Uh, just you know search a number any number. Uh, shoot, hold up, sixty nine. Errors, and then just search that number and then you will get like a bunch of stuff all that now I'm not gonna get in depth on how to hack a specific app because that's you know for another day But that's how you get I give going on iOS 11.1.2 or below now guys I have a bunch of tutorials on my main channel. Mr. Mirza. So be sure to check that out. So whew, I Said a lot. I think I'm done for the day. I, I think I'm done guys. So enjoy your brand new updated 6 plus optimized it's actually optimized for the plus model so it actually looks nicer and sleeker and more you know um, what do you call it i'm smaller because at first it was like super huge so wow it finally came back i think hardy is back i never thought the developer would even upgrade it. i thought the developer was like gone but guys this is not a scam this isn't a scam it will actually work for you guys so um go ahead and buy it if you guys do want eigen guardian and if you guys do know how to work with it then buy it uh, you know, for me, in 2016, it was free, so I bought it, and I watched, like, a bunch of tutorials, and it took me a while to get used to it. It, like, a specific app takes so many times to, like, just memorize, like, what you're doing and all of that, but for some app, for, like, for, for most apps, it's not really, like, you know, that much, like, what do you call it? Roller Coaster Tycoon, literally just search in, like, the amount of coins you have, and you can literally edit, like, the whole thing. You can do, like, nine quadrillion or some garbage. So, I'll tell you guys later. Uh, peace, peace, guys.